Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and play Command and Conquer Free Tiberian Wars on Linux using Steam Proton. And I'll also show you how to use some mods with the game as well. So, installation is simple download the game as normal through Steam, but make sure to select Proton version 5.13 6, as newer versions, at least of this particular video, will cause the units in game to be invisible. Now I've tested this and all the campaigns in skirmish modes do work, but the game will crash if you alt and tab out. Building. Construction complete. New construction options. Building. Construction complete. New construction options. Building. Training. I got their codes. Reporting in. I'm on it. Rifle squad ready. Understood. Securing area. Missile squad ready for combat. Listen up, missile squad. Construction complete. Missile squad ready for combat. Look alive! New construction options. Building. Keep your weapon ready. Understood. It won't be long. Building captured. Building. Construction complete. New construction options. Training. Construction complete. Building. Building. Construction complete. Enemy units sighted. Construction complete. Let's get to that tip zone. Building. And for people that are wondering, yes, the same steps can be applied to install and run the expansion uh, Kane's Wrath. So if you want to play multiplayer, then I recommend you check out CNC Online as the original servers for this game are now shut down. However, unfortunately, this will only work on Windows and not Linux. So the game will actually allow you to load up mods and back in the day, this game had a huge modding community and a particular favorite mod of mine was Tiberian Essence. And this was a mod that effectively added in some of the units from the previous games in the series, as well as overhauling the vanilla factions. So for this particular video, I'm going to be using the 1.6 version of Tiberian Essence, which can be downloaded from ModDB. I also recommend you download the patch as well, as that will fix a ton of gramma grammatical errors in the original mod, but it's not essential. Once the mod's downloaded, extract it, and then take a copy of the folder that's inside. Next, open up Steam, right click on the game, go to Properties, go to Local Files, click on Browse, Go to Steam Apps, Compact Data, 42790, EFX, Drive C, Users, Steam User, and go to where it says Documents, Command and Conquer 3, Tiberian Wars, and in here create a new folder called Mods with an S and lowercase. Inside here you want to paste the Tiberian Essence mod. Once you've done that, right click on the properties of the game again. Now this time go to general and underneath in the launch options make sure you have dash ui now this time you'll be greeted by a launcher so click on game browser click on mods this is a bit buggy so click on the x and then click mods again then select tiberian essence from the list then load the game Construction complete. New construction options. Building. Construction complete. New construction options. Building. Training. Fighters all Building. up! Hold your weapons high! Fighters all up! Construction complete. We've got the rockets. We've got
got the rockets. Rise up! Construction complete. New construction Got the options. rockets. Building. Building. Fighters arm up! We fight for Fighters America! Fighters arm up! We've got the construction rockets. Construction complete. We've got the rockets. Hold your weapons high! Complete. Low power. New construction options. Building. Building offline. Training. Construction complete. Building online. Insufficient funds. The Tiberium will set us free. The oppressors must die! It is time Building. for a harvest. Training. On hold. Cancelled. This bike's ready. Yeah? Got it! Come on! It's sighted. Yeah! Our base is under attack. Under attack. Preparing. It's lost. They won't keep up. Where are they at? The Scorpion's ready. Tank division. Advancing. Scorpion tank. So with that, you've successfully installed and ran Command & Conquer 3 Tiberium Walls on Linux, and you've used a couple of mods as well. Either way, with that, it brings this video to an end. Thanks for watching, guys, and if you did find this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you again next time. Bye now.